What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Tingle, Breath of the Tingle, Tingle of the Wild, Tingle Master Challenge, here on YouTube.com slash Gaming, where we play through the entirety of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild campaign um, in Master Mode as Tingle, the wannabe fairy, wearing nothing but the Tingle outfit. Um, we found the outfit, so now we can wear it when we started off this whole Let's Play series. We had to play through the entire thing naked. But thankfully we have it, and now we're making our way to Kakariko Village. Um, but we're also kind of doing a personal thing where if we see a shrine along the way, um, we're going to go ahead and try to, uh, to, uh, to to finish the shrine. And I need, I, I've taken a little break since the last Let's Play um, to play through some more Splatoon 2, which you guys can check out that Let's Play series here on YouTube.com slash Gaming. But I have to admit I'm a little rusty on the controls because it's like a different run button, a different jump button, and all sorts of different things. And that I need to get reacclimated to. So uh, bear with me as I kind of get my bearings here. But no, we're, so we're playing through the, the the campaign here as Tingle. Things have been quite difficult uh, so far because of playing through with nothing but this Tingle outfit. We're a little bit weaker than what we normally would be because uh, not only is it master mode, but we don't have much armor to protect us. And so let's see what... Oh, it's not. It needs to be moved a little bit. Let's uh, let's put that there. I think maybe try that, and that should. Oh, well, that should just go ahead and do that, and then will that make it go ahead and go there? Oh, we need one more, just one more. That should do the trick. That should do it. If you stop you right there, let's try all that. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. That bonks there. That falls down there. That hits there. That bounces off that. Voila! Now, there is a chest back here we need to make sure we grab because we can't complete a shrine without grabbing the final treasure chest. That's just a no-no. You didn't even finish the shrine if you don't get the chest. And so there we go. I love, I love this puzzle because it just, I mean, it even, oh my gosh, Link, did you see him like scratch the edge there? Just, ah, he's holding on tight for dear life. His little tingle gloves. Does he have gloves on or does he, do his hands still show? Okay, I was gonna say, I wonder if it was like a full-on Spider-Man outfit where he like, uh, you know, had, uh, had gloves too. Because Tingle, now, I, I, I haven't played, I think Tingle has his own game, like, like it's basically Bejeweled or something like that, I'm not too sure. And I think there's still a couple of Zelda games I still have yet to play, actually, for as big of a Nintendo fan as I am and as fluent as I am on Nintendo knowledge and history and lore and gameplay mechanics and history and development and all of that, there are a few games I've missed. And so there may be a little bit of tingle tidbits here and there that, I, that I'm not too familiar with. But from what I've seen, didn't he originate in Majora's Mask, I believe? He was the guy that kind of gave you the pieces of the map around the land. You had to shoot him down with a balloon. I don't believe he was in Ocarina of Time. And he just wanted to be a fairy. And that's all he ever wanted to be. And so he was wearing, like, the, the green outfit that, you know, fairies were supposed to be wearing or whatever. I think he'd be even trying to be you a little bit. Like, he was trying to be, like, the hero Link. Uh, although I'd, I can't confirm that. And the poor guy was just, you know, lost in the head. His little catchphrase, Kulu Limpa, apparently is a play on words um, that relate more to Japanese. Um, kind of the cuckoo, cuckoo, when you spin your ear around, or your hand around, your finger around the ear. And so he's supposed to be kind of a crazy little guy. And apparently his design was based, or at least the design for his face was based around um, yeah. Koji Kondo, who was the composer for The Legend of Zelda as well as Mario and many other Nintendo games. Uh, very famous, you know, songs came from Koji Kondo. And so it, it's interesting they based this psychopath, crazy wannabe fairy man off of their, one of their most beloved composers. But, you know, I guess that's... Maybe he liked that? Maybe maybe he's crazy. Maybe that's something that we don't know about Koji and we're making bold assumptions that he's actually some sort of, you know, hero. But... Uh, as I mentioned, we have we have this this quest log, you know. Oh, oh my, my little puppy just had a little nightmare. I don't know if you heard his little whimper there. It scared me. Um, we have this whole quest log here, and right now we're pursuing the main quest line. Now we do have some other some other quests that I would like to tackle. 
but I wanted to get Kakariko um, out of the way and and maybe see and just kind of take the game naturally just kind of going and so we were tasked uh, with going to Kakariko village to speak with Impa who will give us more details on our quest and so we have to descend from the great plateau which we've done head beyond the dueling peaks which we've done and then follow the road to the north which we're doing now um, and so the blinking dot will help us and so now we're on our way to Kakariko and that place will also from what I remember in the, the campaign that I played through um, should also give us some you know resources to use now i actually don't want this to sink or fall down because i want to get this chest so we're going to go ahead and open that get ourselves a boomerang that we probably don't have room for yep um how much damage did it do do you, do you remember it did i think like eight damage so we'll drop this we don't need that let's open this because i think it did eight damage and we want yeah eight's better than the five we had there and that's also a nice bow let's get one of these crappy bows yeah, get rid of that, and then hop back over here, and get back on our horse. Um, our horse is the the horse that we first encountered, and he waited for us actually for quite a while, and so he's been our chosen horse for now. But he only has two spurs of stamina, which isn't the best. And so, interesting. I remember when I first played, there was um, there was a person here waiting to talk to me, but I guess they're not in this version, or in master mode. Maybe maybe they patched them out. One thing we're desperately going to need to do, and I'm going to need to get better at, I don't do it much in my own personal campaign that I'm playing through in normal mode, but we're going to need to be really good at collecting resources and making potions and cooking things, because in my normal campaign I usually have things raw, I don't get myself as much health as I need, and in master mode we're going to, be, we're going to need to be prepared to take on a lot more challenges uh, and have a lot more resources than what we may be expecting or maybe used to in normal standard mode. So stamina potions are going to be, need to be absolutely crucial. And the other thing we've kind of been experimenting with is exactly how we want to go about, you know, the progression of the game. Like we've added the challenge of making ourselves tingle and we need to find that balance of, okay, how much do we want to challenge ourselves? Like do we want to make the game even harder or is being tingle enough? Wait, climbing cliffs is a challenge on a rainy day, even for an old hand like me. Best to just wait out the rain on those days. I'm selling a few things I picked up in my travels and it doesn't cost to look. All right, well, if it doesn't cost to look, I'll take a look. This is my finest stuff. Ingredients guaranteed to give you a boost of vigor when you're out on the road. Well, dang, dude, I don't got much money, but I do love myself some mushrooms. I'll take them all. I hate to tell you this, kiddo, but it looks like, oh, I don't, I'm, I'm one rupee short, man. I'm freaking saving the world. You can't cut me some slack. All right, I'll give, I'll buy two then. I'll take two. Thank you, mister. No, thanks. Anything else? Um, actually, do I have anything good to sell? Um, show me what you got. Well, I got um, amber, which I don't think... Yeah, we're going to need it to craft some items later, but for now, we don't really need it. And that's actually a lot of money um, to use. And also, some of that stuff is used to dye materials later in the game to make your armor a different color. But we can't do that with Tingle's outfit, so uh, then we, we don't need it. And then this man right here is the big old Korok man. Shalaka. Oh, wait, no, they, they, have, they have a special voice. You, you can see me, man? I can see you. Shalaza, shalaza. It's been a hundred years since anyone has been able to see me, man. I'm Hesu, and I need your help. Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. <laughs> this accent's so bad. <laughs> I think they're still on the other side of those rocks. I can use my I can't use my powers without them, Shoko. So please, please give my maracas back from them. I don't know what accent that was, but I like it. All right, let's go get those. Wait, whoa, hey, I thought you were a bad guy, man. I was about to kill you. You see my face? This face is a, the face of someone that's about to murder. All right, let's go get back those precious maracas. Now maybe the end of this. Let's play. Who? What sort of heartless man would steal maracas? All right, wait, we gotta be, you gotta keep this in mind though when you're master mode. You gotta, you can't go in guns blazing because look at this. There's already enemies floating all around. So we gotta be very, very quiet. Get those maracas back. And do some sneak strikes. Metal Gear Solid! 
Wait, that didn't kill him? I thought it was a one-hit kill when you did sneak strikes. Oh, crap! Get away from your weapon, man. Not today. Uh, gosh. Dang it. Die! Whew. All right. Now you burn your weapon. I'm gonna push you off the side here. Dang it. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, oh, no! No! Man, that face when he killed me, he's just so overjoyed, like, ha 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 ha, I got him. Alright, we'll have to be, that That was my bad. I was completely confident that when you sneak strike someone, you kill them, like a one-hit kill. And so I hit him, and I thought maybe the game was glitching out on me, or maybe he wasn't completely registering the fact that he got hit or something. But his health, like, barely got budged, and so I was like, uh-oh, that's not good. Maybe we just need a stronger weapon. Let's go in with a Forest Dweller Sword. And, okay, we only got one shield, okay. So we're gonna go in here. <laughs> and see if, see what we can, see what we can do this time. Thank goodness it's night. I'm gonna need to travel. That's the, that's gonna be actually, I just realized this. Something, the nice thing about the Tingle outfit is it makes my nighttime travel a little bit faster. I've already noticed that I run and walk a little bit faster. And one of the nice things about nighttime is everyone's sleeping so I can sneak strike on him and kill him like that okay that's one guy that i don't have to worry about you get away from your weapon dang it crap he got it all right let's burn it then can we burn it burn your weapon uh yeah climb the tree all right hide up here and let's uh wait we're gonna need our arrows oh we got wait when did we get 98 arrows i forgot about that well whenever that happened that's good to know we got that all right <laughs> slow-mo Shoot him in the head. We need more stamina because we don't have enough stamina right now to uh, to fight. Okay, stay away from your weapon. You don't need that. Um, yeah, don't go ahead and fall and die. And then we got his friend over here. We're going to need to eat an apple or something. Let's just real quick time out, everybody. Let's eat ourselves a mighty carp. Oh, wait, my sword broke. Well, here, take this to the head. I'm going to use your friend's weapon. All right, back up. Oh, I forget that they regenerate health now. All right. All right, let's, let's just spin this thing. Let's see if we can spin him off the edge. Straight off and fall off the edge. Oh, that, that didn't work. Oh, but we did, we, we can steal his weapon here and now he doesn't have anything to fight with. Huzzah! And take this with you. All right, we should get the maracas now. Get the maracas! Kukuracha, kukuracha. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. All right, let's take his friend's intestines and his guts. While we're at it, while we're here, let's go ahead and cut down this tree so we can always remember this moment where we reclined up that tree. It's our first time getting wood. Interesting. All right, well, I guess it's not my first time getting wood. All right, let's do get the arrows, the apple. Anything else over here? Does this give us, like, a branch or something? Do we need that? All right, might as well take it. Maybe we can use it to burn something. And let's hop up here and get the maracas. Jesus Maracas. Jesus beloved Maracas. He's been shaking them since he was two years old. How old is he now? That's a long time to be shaking Maracas. Anything down here that we need to get? You know the coolest thing about this game is right now I could literally just hop down here and we could just explore a whole new world. But we gotta get back to the Maracas. We gotta go back and give him that. Oh, Jesus. Hey, Ese. We got ourselves some Maracas, me. Uh, yeah, gotcha. Shakala, those are, those are my maracas, man. Please give them to me. All right, man, I got you maracas. I'm Tingle. I follow through with my word. My word is my bond. Shalaka. But wait, there's something wrong with my maracas. The Korok seeds inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance now? If I had just one Korok seed, I could sing, dance, and use my powers to help you, man. You see, I have the power of inventory expansion. So let me know if you find... This is like a mix of like... <laughs> Like, it's like a little bit of Russian accent in there. So let, so let me know if you find some Korok seeds. All right, I got some Korok seeds, man. I've been finding these things for days. The children of the forest must have taken the Korok seeds from my beloved Maracas. I never thought I'd be the target of one of their pranks, Shoko. <laughs> but wait. Do you have a Korok seed? You do. You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. If you'll give me just one Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger in return. All right, man. I already told you I got shakalaka Korok seeds. Which stash do you want me to get more slots in? All right, well, we always you always got to prioritize weapons first. Because you use weapons more than anything else. Oh, shakalaka, 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 Man, that was gorgeous. 
I feel like they improved the frame rate on that because when I first played this game, I feel like it kind of stuttered there a little bit, but maybe that happens later when he's in a more forest area. Man, look at Link's just, just shades and shadows there. Awesome. Now we, got, now we can carry more weapons. That's good. I still smell Korok seeds on you. Want me to expand another inventory? Yeah, man, give me more weapons. Like two Korok seeds. Awesome. Yeah, we got that. Let's just expand all day. Yeah, shake it like a like a do it all right. Let's skip it. We don't need to see that dance again. Enough of that. Man, he gets so jazzed that his maraca is just voiced right in front of me. I like how he does a little tune too. Like na 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 na. All right, weapon stash is a big stand. Look at the time. I need to get back. Oh wait, wait. I need to get back before Grandpa yells at me. Sorry, I have to go, but I still need Korok seeds, so, br so bring some to Korok Forest if you find any. Alright, well, now we know to go to Korok Forest, um, and we can find more of him and expand more of our inventory, because we have quite a bit of Korok seeds, and we gotta make sure we keep gathering those, because I want to find all 900 in both normal mode and in master mode. But, I think that's the end of this Let's Play, so as we make our way to Kokoriko Village, uh, let's go ahead and end out this Let's Play by telling you all to please, please like, subscribe, and share down below if you guys did enjoy this video and if you've been enjoying the series overall. And also be sure to leave a comment down below with, gosh, what should you comment about? Um, <laughs> let me know what you think about my Hetsu accent, if you think it should be refined or changed at all. And also let me uh, let me know what you think I should be expanding. Should I be focusing on weapons, but or should I be focusing on bows and shields? Personally, I think weapons are the best bet, but maybe you guys have a reasoning for something else. Maybe you want me to be challenged and not focus on weapons. Um, that's a valid reason uh, to maybe think I should prioritize something else. Ooh, wait, this guy wanted my help. Um, so be sure to do that and subscribe to be notified when we post new videos. We have Kopai Podcast each and every Monday here on YouTube.com slash Kopai Gaming as well as podcast services around the world. And you can also check us out on Twitch.tv, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all as Kopai Gaming to check out our live streams, tweets, posts, anything and everything over there on our social media channels. And also, also be sure to check out the Splatoon Let's Play series and any other content we've been posting. You can find that all on our channel or on our website, KopaiGaming.com. But until next time Cool